इफ वी से द थ्री स्टेजेस वाई द थ्री स्टेजेस क्या दो भी हो सकती हैं एक भी हो सकती है या ज्यादा एक्चुअली दीज आर द थ्री नेचुरल स्टेजेस ऑफ ए प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस और वो थ्री नेचुरल स्टेजेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस को अगर हम देखें तो इसके बिहाइंड पे हमारे पास जो ऑस्पेक्ट्स काम कर रहे हैं वो क्या है वो है लॉ ऑफ वेरिएबल प्रोपोर्शन एंड लॉ ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग मार्जिनल प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ द इनपुट्स सो व्हेन वी डील विद दीज टू एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी हैव टू यूटिलाइज अदर फिक्स फैक्टर्स सो इट गिव्स अस द थ्री ऑप्टिमल स्टेजेस ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन दैट विल गिव इन टू द एंटरप्रोन्योर दैट हाउ he or the she has to utilize certain inputs and how she or the he that entrepreneur has to decide about the total level of the output ji and now when we come to the table and this tabular presentation it shows us that in the one column now we are having fixed input in the previous modules we have utilized only one variable but now we are going to show here that one column it is going to have fixed level of the input and the other it is having the variable input so when it is called fixed we can see that throughout the process we are have not changed this so it does not mean that we have to utilize only one we can put any figure here like 5 or the 6 or 10 but that figure that will be utilized in the first instance that will be remain kept constant throughout this production process now when we come to the variable number of the inputs it means now the entrepreneur is going to decide that for this fixed proportion of the acre or there can be other plant of the machinery he is having here zero level of the input at second stage he has added one input then again one more than one more so he is adding the variables and with the combination of this fixed and this one variable now there is total physical product so at the start it was zero and then 4 14 and like this when again now we are going to decide that what is the marginal physical productivity that will be decided with the change in this total product so for this change in the total product 4 for 1 marginal physical productivity is respective 1 and keeping in view now this marginal physical product unit what we are going to decide we see that marginal physical productivity it is going to increase and after this 20 it is going to decrease one another thing that we have to see here it does not mean that it is going to shift from 20 to 16 in a jump there is a possibility that for this increase in the 3 to 4 of one unit of labor if we are going to divide in very small number because the labor it cannot be divided if it is a one person we divided it by hours mean for 20 Four hours of labor, for twelve hours of labor, or for eight hours of labor, there can be any number in between this. That there can be nineteen units, there there can be eighteen units, or there can be seventeen units. So it shouldn't be in your mind that it is just going to by jump because it is a very continuous process. But due to indivisibility of certain inputs, we are not going to count for this if. this labor is divided in the form of the hours it also will provide us an opportunity to have this type of the uh, product here and after this now we see that the marginal physical productivity it is going to decline and decline and becoming equal to zero so these two these are called the point of inflections mean when there will be the change in the slope and the third stage when marginal physical productivity is negative so from this point of inflection if we say that marginal physical productivity is increasing it gives first phase second marginal physical productivity is decreasing and reaching to zero second phase and now when we contrast up to this point 
and come to total product we see that there is total product is going to increase and increase and increase when marginal productivity is zero the total productivity is up to maximum point for this change in input or marginal productivity total productivity it remain stagnant so due to this when from 74 to 74 we measured the change in y it was 74 minus 74 divided by change in labor so that was one unit it was zero so this was the an other inflection point when the total product was maximum and after that marginal physical productivity is declining and this third stage of marginal physical productivity declining it gives this total product also a declining stage now when it is shown in the form of a graph when we plot again this this is the total response of the total product and this total product point this is the first point of inflection and if we correspond to this the previous table we will see that this was the point of this third and the fourth unit of the labor likewise this third and the fourth unit it shows that now this was the point of inflection when the production started to increase but at decreasing rate so here again total production was increasing here total production was increasing here increasing rate and here at decreasing rate and this increasing and decreasing rate can be defined by taking the further derivative of the marginal physical product or with the second derivative of the total production and this is the third phase when marginal physical productivity it became zero and still here the average productivity is not shown and if uh, hypothetically i will draw it will like this so when marginal physical productivity now it is entering in the third phase of declining then this is the phase where now the entrepreneur has to decide that either it will go on producing and producing but at the decreasing rate and either this will be the phys uh, feasible form to him or either there will be a plausible decision to stop production up to this point so these are those three stages that an entrepreneur has to face keeping in view the utilization of various inputs with him and he has to decide keeping in view all the information provided to him with the various units of inputs various units of output or the average product and likewise the various combination of the input and average productivity so when we explain these three phases one by one so in the first phase we can say total production is increasing marginal physical productivity is increasing average product is also increasing when we come to the second stage total production is increasing but marginal physical product is decreasing and at the same time average physical product will also start certain way declining third stage when total production is declining and marginal physical product is not only declining it is decreasing in the negative phase means it is going below than the zero and these three stages then when we have explained first stage second stage and the third stage so one by one when we explain we have various related parameters that gives possibility of various decisions to the entrepreneur so the phase 2 is actually the phase of diminishing returns and phase 1 is called the phase of increasing returns so after the second stage when we have the third stage this stage due to decline in the total product and as well as the negative marginal productivity this phase is called 
the third phase of the negative returns so any entrepreneur has to must uh, we can say must decide that he will never enter in this phase or he must avoid this negative return state because it will add up only and only in, in the cost of that total production process and this is a not an efficient rather a non-economic non-profit and inefficient phase of the production mostly any rational producer or i can say any rational entrepreneur who is having wise decision capacity and having wise knowledge of the various figures of input and output will be able to best decide that this phase will never has to be adopted